Hey, what's going on, fishing friends? Hey, it is uh, March 4th. It is Sunday. I normally don't fish on Sundays, but I couldn't help myself. I had such a good day out here on Wednesday. I caught 33 bass, and uh, I had some good, good chunks. I Probably up to about 7 pounds. Seven, uh, I, I didn't weigh it, but I had one that I'm pretty sure was pretty close to 7. I had one that was probably around that 6-pound range, and I the majority of them were between three and five pounds. I caught several five pounders. They're just full of eggs and they're fat and they're weighing more. Um, phenomenal day. But I had a friend make a comment to me. He thanked me, by the way. I appreciate that. Um, he saw my videos and he and a friend came out here Saturday. And uh, we had a clear blue sky, kind of a high pressure system. So it was a little bit tougher for them. But they caught 17. And I think he said he had a six something. So that's that's still pretty good sometimes we get spoiled and i know i sure do you know you go out and you catch 20 or 30 fish on a lake and uh if you're lucky and you do that a few times man then you get spoiled and you come out to a lake and you catch 15 and you kind of feel like you didn't do that good which is crazy because it's still a good day so um anyway i'm gonna i'm gonna hit this today and uh, see how it goes. I'm going to do the exact same pattern I did last time. I'm throwing a chatter bait. It's uh, white and chartreuse. And I'm using a KVD caffeine shad as the trailer. I call it baby bass the color, but it's a green pumpkin on top, pearl on the bottom. That's the actual color on the package is what it says. And uh, I've got a few things tied on today that I didn't do last time that I'm going to try. I found some scattered grass that's out in a little bit deeper water kind of on a point so I might pull a rattle tra red rattle trap through that and I've got a really big strike king uh, spinner bait tied on which I'm using a trailer on that same thing KVD a five inch uh, solid white I'm gonna put on that and pull it through the grass and see if maybe I can't get a little bit bigger fish but I'm sure y'all all saw the other day where on fork a guy caught one that was over 15 pounds on a black and blue jig in four feet of water uh, and uh, most fishermen know this. Uh, if you don't, let me give you some great advice. When you're wondering uh, if the fish have moved up yet, when you're in East Texas and you see that the dogwood trees are blooming out, you know the fish are on the are up shallow. The moment those trees bloom out, the fish are shallow. So that's a good indication if you want to know if fish are moved up shallow yet. Just look at the trees. Um, kind of the same thing if you. If you're driving down the road and all the cows are laying down, more than likely the fishing's not going to be that great. <laughs> uh, there's just certain signs you look for, and uh, most of them hold pretty true. So anyway, guys, I hope y'all are having a great Sunday. And, uh, man, I'm going to hit it, and hopefully I can I can make some good videos and post some pictures today. Uh, I seriously doubt I'm going to have a 33 fish day today. But, you know, if I catch 10 to 15, I'll be really happy. So, all right, guys, appreciate you watching my videos. If you would, please tell your friends. This is East Texas Fisherman with Steve Porterfield. And i um, just trying to grow my channel, so I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you. And God bless. All right. March 4th, I'm out on Lake Gilmer. Here's my first fish. This is number one. Going back in the lake. I'm going to count them down today. See how many I can get. See you later. That makes number one. All right. This makes number two, and I've missed three so far. So I've caught two and missed three. Going back in the lake. Well, I can tell you today is a totally different day than Wednesday. Uh, it's the, the fish are just not near as active today as they were on Wednesday. And uh, so, but I hadn't been out here that long, still hammering. Like I said, that's only my second fish. And I've missed three so far, so I'm going to keep hammering it see how many I can get in the boat. All right, this makes, this makes number three. So I've caught three and missed three. It's a pretty good fish right there. It's not bad. Going back in the lake. Like I said earlier, it is, uh, I'm catching fish, but it's uh, getting bites here and there, but it's a lot, a lot slower than what it was Wednesday. Uh, got an overcast day, and uh, I think the sun's supposed to come out later today. It's supposed to rain a little bit around noon, and after that it's supposed to clear out. So uh, we'll see if the uh, fishing picks up any. any. I'm uh, still catching them on a chatterbait, 
but I'm coming up to some lily pads, so I think I'm fixing to throw a, a black lizard and uh, spray it real well with garlic and see if that puts them in the boat. Hey, I want to thank AFCO and I want to thank Jesus for another day on the water. All right, here we go. Number four. Pretty good little bass, pretty fat. Going back in the lake. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Number five. So, so far I have caught five and I've missed four. Missed one just a second ago, right before I caught this one. So, there you go. Uh, like I said earlier, still way slower than it was Thursday, but I'm catching fish, so I'm not complaining. Uh, but it is just crazy how just, you know, two or three days, what a difference it makes. Um, so anyway, like I said, I'm doing the same exact same thing uh, that I, I've been doing, just throwing a chatterbait and working it down the bank shallow and uh, still getting bites. But like I said, just a lot slower than it's been. All right, here we go. It's a small one, but you know what? That makes number six. Going back in the lake. See you later, buddy. Go go back and grow up. All right, number six. Still working on it. All right, just put number seven in the boat. There's number seven. Again, fat little fish. Going back in the lake. See you later. All right, number seven. All right, so I'm at uh, seven four. I've caught seven and I've missed four so far. So as long as I catch more than I miss, that's pretty good. So uh, I'm not for sure what time it is. I think it's about 11 or 12, something like that. So anyway, I'm going to keep at it. All right, this makes number eight. I'm up to eight fish so far, and it's about noon. So not too bad. Not too bad. Back in the lake. All right, this makes number nine. Going back in the lake. See you later, buddy. I'll see you in a few years. What is that on the side of it? It's, uh, I don't know what that is. All right. All right. All right. Well. That's nine, starting to rain just a little bit, so uh, maybe the little change in weather here will, will get them going a little better than what they've been doing. All right, guys, this little dink makes number 10. I'm up to 10. Going back in the lake. See you later. Come again. All right, guys, this makes number 11. I think this is the smallest one I've caught so far. Uh, Number 10 was pretty small, but this one's, I think, just a hair smaller. But anyway, going back in the lake. Take a drink. Say goodbye. All right. That makes number 11. Sun just came out. It quit raining. And uh, I have gone for quite a while without a bite. I think it's about 2 o'clock right now. So, uh, anyway, I'm probably going to give it another 2 or 3 hours. And then I'm headed, headed home for the day. All right, guys. This makes number 12. So far, uh, I've caught 12 and I've missed 5. Going back in the lake. See you later. So, you know, a lot slower than the other day. Still catching fish. And I've probably said that about 50 times now, but, you know, that's what I do. I repeat myself over and over. <laughs> All right. I just got into the teens. This makes number 13. Bass number 13. Going back in the lake. See you later, alligator. Ooh, and I missed one more. So I think that makes six, six. I'll have to go back and look, but I think that's six that I have missed. So anyway, number 13.